If you woke up tomorrow morning with your head stapled to the carpet, would you be just as surprised? Hello, and welcome to things I find interesting that happened today, aka TFTIT ITP. This show is all about the events that occurred today, but in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things I personally find intriguing enough for me to bring to you. The source of this information comes from the smart device application on this day, the icon of which is shown as cutoff prevention at the beginning and end of each episode. The music in the background is Freefall by Audioscribe, which I found on the YouTube channel No Copyright Sounds. For links to the app, music, and anything else potentially interesting, check the underbar. Anyway, on with the show! Today is Thor's Day, aka Thursday, March 3rd, 2016. In 2015, Slovenia legalized same-sex marriage. In 2009, the historical archive of the city of Cologne collapsed. In 2005, Margaret Wilson was elected as Speaker of the New Zealand House of Representatives, beginning a period lasting until August 23, 2006, where all the highest political offices were occupied by women, making New Zealand the first country for this to occur. In 2005, Steve Fawcett became the first person to fly an airplane non-stop around the world solo without refueling. In 1997, the tallest freestanding structure in the Southern Hemisphere, Sky Tower in downtown Auckland, New Zealand, opened after 2.5 years of construction. In 1991, in concurrent referenda, 74% of the population of Lativa and 83% from Estonia voted for independence from the Soviet Union. Also in 1991, an amateur video captured the beating of Rodney King by the LAPD. In 1969, during the Apollo program, NASA launched Apollo 9 to test the lunar module. In 1958, Nuri al-Said became Prime Minister of Iraq for the eighth time. In 1951, Jackie Brinston with Ike Turner and his band recorded Rocket 88, which is often cited as the first rock and roll record. They did this at Sam Phillips' recording studios in Memphis, Tennessee. In 1945, during World War II, the RAF accidentally bombed the Bezuidenhout neighborhood in the Hagui, Netherlands, killing 511 people. In 1944, the Order of Nakamov and Order of Yusuthov were instituted in USSR as the highest naval awards. In 1945, people were murdered in an arson attack on the offices of the communist newspaper Flamen in Lula, Sweden. In 1939, in Bombay, Mohandas Gandhi began a hunger strike in protest at the autocratic rule in British India. In 1938, the Mallard, the fastest steam-driven train on the planet, was built by LNER Doncaster Works in England. Also in 1938, oil was discovered in Saudi Arabia. In 1931, the United States adopted the Star Spangled Banner as its national anthem. In 1924, the 14th century Islamic Caliphate was abolished when Caliph Abdul Mahid II of the Ottoman Empire was deposed. The last remnant of the old regime gave way to the reformed Turkey of Kemal Ataturk. In 1923, Time magazine was published for the first time. In 1918, Germany, Austria, and Russia signed the Treaty of brest litovsk ending Russia's involvement in World War I and leading to the independence of Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and Poland. In 1915, NACA, the predecessor of NASA, was founded. In 1913, thousands of women marched in a suffrage parade in Washington, D.C. In 1904, Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany became the first person to make a sound recording of a political document, using Thomas Edison's phonograph cylinder. In 1885, the American Telephone and Telegraph Company was incorporated in New York. In 1878, the Russo-Turkish War ended with Bulgaria regaining its independence from the Ottoman Empire according to the Treaty of San Stefano. A few months afterwards, the Congress of Berlin stripped its status to a vassal principality of the Ottoman Empire. In 1875, the first ever organized indoor game of ice hockey was played in Montreal, Canada, as recorded in the Montreal Gazette. Also in 1875, Georges Bizet's opera Carmen received its premiere at the Opera Comique in Paris. Also in 1873, the U.S. Congress enacted the Comstock Law, making it illegal to send any quote-unquote obscene, lewd, or lascivious books through the mail. The question is, who are they to say what is obscene, lewd, or lascivious? This is a prime example of dictatorship actions, using their powers to control what the citizens can and cannot communicate to each other with. In 1865, the opening of the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation occurred, and it became the founding member of the HSBC Group. In 1861, Alexander II of Russia signed the Emancipation Manifesto, freeing serfs. In 1845, Florida was admitted as the 27th U.S. state. In 1820, the U.S. Congress passed the Missouri Compromise. 
1776, during the American Revolutionary War, the first amphibious landing of the U.S. Marine Corps begun the Battle of Nassau. Burst, Alexander Graham Bell, 1847. And that concludes Deep Dead Time TP. For your dose of passive and steady, I am Ao, and you are you. Toodles for Mother Russia!